A Malian army brigade made up entirely of ethnic Tuareg enters the city of Gao. It's an unusual sight, light-skinned soldiers in the government army, and marks an important new step in the fight to control the north. It was Tuareg fighters who started the rebellion, and for months they were allied with Al-Qaeda-linked rebels. Before losing the north, we used to command all units. I, a white Tuareg, used to preside over seven military regions in Gao. I used to preside over all the Malians that used to work in the army in the region. No one can ever say that the Tuareg cannot take care of their own responsibilities or that they are denied the right to have responsibilities. The Tuareg will be working alongside troops from neighboring Niger. So far, about 2,000 West African troops have arrived in Mali, a number that's due to triple. This African force will take over from the French army that began operations in Mali three weeks ago. Its mission will be to bring the north back under central government control. With regards to human rights, all we can do is respect them. But for those who don't respect human rights, we don't have sufficient authority to act. All we can do is fulfill our mission as best we can. And there's evidence of abuses, including extrajudicial killings. These bodies were found down a well in the central town of Sevare. Human rights groups say there are allegations that the Malian army has carried out summary executions of people accused of being rebels. We sent a letter to the defense minister and asked him to launch an independent impartial inquiry regarding the death of those four people. On Saturday, the French president François Hollande is coming to Mali. He wants to congratulate French troops on what he sees as a successful mission. But that mission is far from complete. Retaking towns is one thing. Holding on to them over the long term and preventing the rebels from coming back will require an ongoing commitment. Jackie Rowland, Al Jazeera, Timbuktu.